Hello everyone, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics, and I'm just getting back from the NAB show and I've had some time to think about the power of live streaming. And one of the things that makes it so special, people told me over and over again, is the ability to have that live interaction with your audience. So we thought about it, we had a lot of chats with a lot of industry leaders at the NAB show, the National Association for Broadcasters show in Las Vegas in 2017, and we came up with some really advanced cool yet easy to use audience integration platforms ideas that I'm going to share with you in this video. If you're going to watch our live show tomorrow, which is Friday, Cinco de Mayo, 5-5-2017, this could be a little bit of a spoiler for you, so if you want to save and wait until then, I totally understand, but I've got a little presentation and I'm going to show you how to integrate live data into your live streams quickly and easily. So, one of the first things to know is that you can bring in data from almost anywhere online, whether it be XML, RSS, Google Sheets, your social media platforms, there's a lot of different ways to bring in this data. And then most live streaming platforms also have a way to display that. So we're gonna give you a free download at the uh, in the description of this video and also on our website, where we're gonna give you a jumpstart kit with a bunch of different titles. And the titles are super important because the titles will allow you to display um, the data properly. So what's a title? Well, let's go ahead and let me just show one here. It's going to actually cover me up a little bit. I'll put it maybe a little lower down here. This is a title that actually is I'm integrating with the latest YouTube subscribers from our website. And it will, it will rotate on a, a given time that I have set up. So that's pretty cool. And that's just one example. So that's a custom title that we built to show YouTube subscribers. And then we insert the data into that title. So we will show you, we'll give you a whole bunch of free uh, starter kit in, in this video. So I'm going to take this full screen just because I'm cutting off some of the data here. So one of the great things is that you can use pretty much any, um, or you can use this audience response system with any of your favorite live streaming software. There's new integrations from the new tech NDI, which connects, you know, a vMix to a Wirecast to the new Blue FX, and almost 80 other manufacturers at NAB were showing new tech NDI solutions to make data integration easier. So that's going to come into play. And one of the best um, live shows, and any really good live show, engages the audience. So sharing the chat room is a great way to do that. And there's ways to integrate um, the comments in your chat room with Facebook's API. YouTube just announced a new API for integrating the chat room. And being able to have a little bit more control over how that's going to be displayed in your live show or during your live show. So that's going to be fun to talk about. Uh, and and we'll, we'll, we'll go over a couple of this. So managing your audience responses is a powerful way to boost engagement. And in this presentation, we're going to look at finding usable data. And we're going to give you some examples of really quick and easy data you can pull from, whether it's YouTube subscribers or Facebook likes or actually doing custom polls and bring it into your live show. Uh, we're going to talk about creating custom titles like the one you see here. And I've got a live example that I'll show you soon. Um, we are going to talk about social media integration and the ability to pull in social media, whether it's a hashtag that you're looking for or you're looking for special um, you know, t titles or different words mentioned in Twitter or Facebook. You can pull those in. Uh, we'll look at a live voting system and doing live polling. We'll look at services that you can use like Streamlabs uh, or a complete audience response system. And then finally, we'll just talk about live streaming with all this data and making it valuable for you. So finding usable data for your live show. Social media networks have a wealth of usable data. So that's the first place we can go out and look. Whether it's YouTube subscribers like we just showed a moment ago, or it's comments from your video, or likes, or subscribes. All of that stuff is usually available via whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube's API. So we will have to use an API key in this demonstration. We're going to show you um, some Google API keys in this demonstration, and um, we'll show you some manual workarounds and some other things that'll be really interesting.
the chat room can be actually just, you can just take a desktop capture of a chat room and display it during your live stream. And that's what we've been doing for a long time. Now I'm excited to take things quite a bit further with some of the new things we learned at the NAB show. You can use hashtags, photos, social media posts, and you can even use a queuing system. And I'll probably get, get, get an example to show you that as well during this show. So that'll be fun as well. So we're going to have quite a few things to show uh, in this presentation. And uh, I'll pop in a vMix social tutorial as well in a little bit, which will show you how to pull in some of the social media. Every live streaming platform has a different way of doing it, but they're all really great. Then we're going to talk about creating custom titles. And that's something that's really important that uh, I can't stress enough how important this is, is that you know, if you're creating custom polls or if you're creating, like I'm showing here, we're going to do a poll on who, what is your favorite live streaming platform, whether it be YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or Periscope. And we need to create a way to, to, to bring that data in and show it in a meaningful way. So this is an example here where we're showing the average of all the votes and then the total of all the votes. And there's a blank bar there where we can actually put whatever we want title-wise in there. And I'll show you how all that works as well. Um, vMix has a custom title creation tool, um, but you can also use some of the more advanced title tools, and this is just one of them, New Blue Titler FX, which is actually included in the Wirecast um, Pro license, and it actually has NewTek NDI integration, so it can integrate directly into the NewTek TriCasters and vMix and Wirecast as a result, so it can make your data come alive, and the titles become very important. So one of the easiest ways to bring information in and to do polls is to, let's just start with Google Forms. And I don't want this to be a super long video, so I will answer all the comments and the questions below. But what I want to do is show you how to use Google Forms to populate a Google Sheet, which is where we can have all of our data and then bring that data into our live stream. So that in itself is a pretty big undertaking. So I want to go ahead and do a live demo of that uh, before we get on to the social media stuff. So I've already got a folder here where I've got my forms and my sheets. And let's take a look at one of the forms that we're going to use. So Cinco de Mayo audience qu response quiz. Just a very simple quiz. We're going to ask tomorrow of Cinco de Mayo. We're going to ask our audience whether they'd like to drink a margarita, a Dos Equis, or just water. Three options in that, um, in that operation there. And then we're also going to do another poll uh, where we're going to ask people, um, what's their favorite uh, live streaming platform, YouTube, Facebook, Periscope, or Instagram? And it's just so it's really just two questions, but uh, we're going to do a little bit of work with the data. So if we go over to the responses, we've already got 11 responses, and we can go over here. And in Google Forms, you know, there's a lot of different settings you can do to allow people whether or not you want them to be able to possibly uh, give them your email or make multiple posts. There's a whole bunch of options. Collect email addresses, show a summary. There's a bunch of really great um, tutorials there. But let's go ahead and view the responses in the Google Sheet. Now, I could go on and on about Google Sheets, so I'm going to try to keep this very simple. But one of the things that is a very simple tip here is there's something called a count if. So if we're getting all of these responses, um, some people, I guess, only responded to certain things. Let's see what we have here. There was, I'm, I'm going to delete these first four, the heck of it, delete those rows. Um, so for example, if we want to pull in an account of how many people voted for margaritas, and there's two, three choices, margarita, you know, there's water, let's we'll fill in for that person, and Dos Equis, and let's just put one more margarita here. Um, what we do is we can do a count if. So that's not showing it. But what we can go ahead and do here is we can go equals count if. And basically what we're saying is count if um, this row, which is B, has margarita in it. So if I do this right, it should come up as two. Well, there's two votes for margarita. B2 to B1000 is margarita. Margarita. I hope I do this right. Boom, it came up as two, right? And I would do the same thing for Dos Equis and water. And then that will give me my votes. Um, I can tell this is actually one of the, old, I believe it's one of the older votes. And let, while we're here, let me go ahead and show you where this shows up. So if you go to ptzoptics.com slash 
show, you can see here that we've got our live show, our chat room, and then we have um, the, the audience response forms here. So there's the Dos Equis and the ratings, okay? And then we've got it all pulled into our Google Sheet. And this is where we're gonna pull our information. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. So, it's kind of covering my face a little bit. There's been no votes for water yet. Let me put this down here maybe. Um, but you can see I already created a title for this. This is a title and it's got the two mar votes for Margarita and one vote for Dos Equis. So I'm going to show you just really quickly how this works one more time because I think this is going to be kind of a good demonstration. So if I go over here and I vote for Margarita again, I really like Margaritas and I'll do a couple, couple more votes and go ahead and submit. That should take just a moment and it will upgrade. It'll update. Let's see how quickly it updates. There we go. Boom. So that was our vote for the margarita. So how did I do that? Because right through our website, we had a Google form and somebody voted and it updated live on our live feed here. So I'll show you how it's done. So now what we're going to do, and I'm using vMix today, but this can be done with Wirecast or a TriCaster. It's quite interesting the way all of this works. And uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and do a live demo of how it's set up. So this is my data sources here from vMix. Okay, I'm going to see if I can make it a little bigger. So this is da called data sources in vMix. And what I'm going to do, what I did was, is I basically integrated it with um, my Google Sheet. So if you click this and hit settings, you can see here that's the URL. I'm going to make this full screen in case it's hard for, for you guys to see. I'm going to make it full screen. So just give me a second. Let's make this full screen. Data sources. Maybe that's a little easier to see. Um, and I basically have my Google API key. You can get it at developers.google.com. I'll put a link to it in the description below because that will be important. You just get the API key once and you're good to go. Um, I'm going to have to hide that on this because I'm not supposed to give anybody that. So now uh, I've got my Cinco de Mayo questions and you can see here that Margaritas is three um, and Dos Equis and then Water. So it's pulling in all the information. The YouTube subscribers is a little different and I'm going to show you that one next and then I'm going to get on with the presentation because I want to make sure we do a good presentation of this, the whole thing here. Um, so let's go back to our presentation and then we'll talk about pulling in some social media and some other things. This is going to be a long presentation. Hopefully it's informative for you guys. I spent a lot of time working on all of this. So the YouTube subscribers, ta-da! That is pulling in, we're automatically pulling in with the YouTube API all of the, the latest YouTube subscribers and again doing the same thing, integrating with the Google Sheet and uh, I need to show you the title as well because that's going to be important. So if we go to the title editor here and you can see that, um, let's see if I can just zoom in on this a little bit. Here's the title editor for this. Um, you can see here that if I hit data sources there, it's a, I can actually tie it to the source of data that I want. So here's YouTube subscribers, and I've got it set to auto because it's really just the very first one. And there, and I am now pulling in my YouTube subscribers, as you can see right there. So hopefully that gives you a pretty good look at what we are doing here. Um, so there's the YouTube subscribers. That's how it's pulled in. You connect vMix or whether you're using Wirecast, New Blue Title Effector, New Blue Title FX, or um, New Tech TriCaster. You connect your system to the data. Then you connect your title where you want the data to be displayed to the, um, the data. So that's how that works. So social media integration, again, is also pretty much built in to most of the major media platforms. And again, just because I'm using vMix right now, I'll show you that. This is the vMix social. And what I'll do is you can see here that I can have actually a queuing system. Uh, there's other demonstrations on this, so just very quickly, you can pull in all of this social media integration in the same way. 
and pull it into a queue and search for different things and have it all be pulled up into a title. So hopefully that makes sense. So that's that's how that works. Um, I'm happy to answer more questions on this, but I don't want this video to be too, too long. So you can pull in your Twitter, your Facebook, your YouTube into your titles as well. And you can import them into social media as well into Google Sheets. So there's APIs for that and there's things that you can get add-ons for Google Sheets that really make it easy. The live voting we showed as well. So you can do live voting and uh, you can bring that in or you can use the direct social media APIs in the Google Sheets as well and use that as a data source. Um, we, I showed quickly the custom, creating a custom landing page in order to have people quickly have access to your, um, the questions. So you might not want to be live streaming directly to Facebook or directly to YouTube. If you want them to have access to two custom forms as well, you probably want to put that all into a single web page so that people don't have to click away. Here's an example of one audience poll that we put together that I showed today. Here's another example. Let me show this one full screen. Here's another one that I think is pretty interesting. Uh, ba -ba. Favorite streaming app. I thought I had this one set up. I guess I didn't. Here's another one. Um, this one is just r rotating. Um, so there's another the other form that we have. This one's just rotating uh, comments that, that we've, we have coming from our Google form. And of course, you could pull this from Facebook data, YouTube data, any data that you, you can pull, you can pull into a live, a live stream. And that's the whole point here. So um, that example, subscriber list example. Finally, there are services that you can use as well, like Streamlabs to pull in extra information. And Streamlabs is something I would highly recommend looking into. It allows you to pull in data about YouTube subscribers, uh, people who are donating potentially to your channel, and it's a lot of great information. So I'd highly look at look into that. And then we, we talked about um, pulling in the data into your titles and then going live. Once you've got that all that information into your system, you can easily go live and um, you, can, you can basically have the data being pulled in live, which is the key really, and then have it be completely um, you know, up to date the entire time, which is, which is the key. So next slide here, that's it. So that's the whole presentation. I hope it was interesting for you guys. I hope that it was worthwhile uh, for you to watch that 20 minutes. If you did, there's a free download below. And tomorrow in our live show, we are going to be using all of this information. And uh, I want today to kind of really dig into it because I know I'm not going to get f a full 20 minutes to go over it during our live show. Thank you very much. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you at our live show tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.